watching the Lichi Boy at work. And today I'm going to show you how to find two different ways to find the center of a circle. Now the first method is by simply drawing a square around the very circle that you have. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take yourself a ruler and draw a nice straight line that meets any s the, the side of the circle, any side of the circle. And then make it nice and long. And then you're going to do the same with all the other sides, so that it, it keeps intersecting to make a square, like so. And make sure these angles are right angles, as right as possible. And then you keep doing so until you get yourself a square. <coughs> now once you have a square, what you want to do is, what you want to do is you want to simply intersect a diagonal line through two opposite vertices of the square. So when you do so, you're basically finding the center of the, uh, of the square as well as the circle. There we have the center of your circle. And then the other method is by simply drawing a chord, a two chords in your circle. So make the chord simple like five centimeters and six centimeters so you can easily find out their midpoint. So you have one chord and then you have another chord, six centimeters and five centimeters let's say, and they have to be opposite like so here. And then all you have to do is find the center of this, uh, like this one is five centimeters here, right? So then you have to mark it as 2.5. So this is, this is the center here. And then you have to mark this one as six. This one is six, right? So the middle of six is three, three. And now you take your protractor and you measure a right angle of this, on this line from the midpoint. Same with the other chord. And now you simply draw a line from that point to the other point. And there, and their point of intersection is the very center of your circle. Now, of those of you who do not know what a chord is, it is the section of a circle. Uh, it is a line that, sep that has section of the circle in it. So it's not a diameter, but it's smaller than a diameter, and it gives you a section of the circle. So that's a chord. So when you make two chords, and you cut a line through them, they will always pass through the center, thus giving you the center of the circle. So these are my two methods. I hope you like them. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.